In this video we're going to show you how to change your Fisher and Pike Earl filter over to an inline filter which will give you better flow and longer service life. First step, turn off your water supply. After turning off the water supply you will need to release the pressure in the lines by pressing a glass against the water dispenser on the fridge door. You can now remove the inlet side tubing by pushing the tubing in towards the filter while holding the locking collar against the filter. Then pull out on the tubing to remove. Once you've done this, check the flow direction on the new filter, in and out. Push the tubing all the way into the filter until it bottoms out, then pull outwards to lock and seal. Once you've done this, you'll need to flush the new filter for about one minute to remove any air bubbles and carbon fines. Simply just flush it into an empty container. After you've finished flushing, you then can put the filter on top of the old existing bracket and you can cable tie that into position to hold that nice and steady. Once you've done that, you then can remove the outlet side that goes to the fridge from the old system by pushing the tubing in, holding the collar against it and pulling outwards. Then simply push that all the way into the new filter and pulling out that locked and sealed. After you've done that, you can then turn back on your water supply and check for any leaks. After checking for leaks, then go around and press your water dispenser on the front of the door for about one minute to release any air bubbles in the lines. After that, come back around and check all fittings to make sure there's no leaks and that's the job done. 